Jesus was an immigrant. His first home was with God in heaven. However, about 2,000 years ago, Jesus migrated from heaven to earth, not because life became unpleasant for the Lord in heaven, but rather because he wanted to save us from our sins. Initially, Jesus experienced a warm welcome from shepherds and kings. That is to say, Jesus experienced a warm welcome from people who were poor, as well as people who were rich. However, when Jesus was still very much an infant, a prophet by the name of Simeon told Mary, his mother, that Jesus was going to be the cause for the rise and fall of many in Israel. And because of this, many people would reject Jesus and mistreat him. Reject and mistreat him in such a way that Simeon told Mary that she would feel as if a sword pierced her heart. And Simeon was correct. He was right because shortly after the presentation of Jesus in the temple, King Herod, who was a very immature leader, learned from visitors from the east that there was a newborn king in the area. And when these visitors departed without telling Herod who and where this newborn king was, Herod's immaturity ran wild. He decreed the beheading of all young boys two years of age and younger. However, before these beheadings took place, Joseph, the foster father of Jesus, had a dream. And in this dream, an angel informed, or actually instructed Joseph to take the child Jesus and his mother and migrate to Egypt and to stay there until he was summoned to come home. Joseph arose immediately and did exactly what the angel bid him to do. And fortunately, the Egyptians welcomed the Holy Family and gave them safe refuge. My brothers and my sisters in Christ, we live in the world with a great amount of violence and unrest. We live in a world where many people do not have enough food to survive. We live in a world where freedom and human rights are constantly violated. We live in a world where there's a great deal of sexual abuse. So we live in a world where many people who are, who are uh, abused seek refuge in other lands looking for welcome and safe refuge, just as Jesus, Mary, and Joseph did. Because our world's in this kind of a situation, many oppressed people look to America for refuge. They look to America for refuge because America was founded by immigrants. They look to America for refuge because many realize that immigrants have always been part of the lifeblood of America. They look to America for refuge because America seems to have the resources which would help many oppressed people. They look to America for refuge because America has always invited the oppressed to come. The Statue of Liberty, situated at the entrance to New York Harbor, 
says to the world, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. Give me the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, tempest-tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. And my brothers and my sisters in Christ, many oppressed people throughout the world have responded to this invitation from the Statue of Liberty. And the result? In America today, we have many immigrants who are here legally. But we also have a number of immigrants who at the present time are undocumented. And this has led to a dilemma in our country which cries out for a resolution of this situation, a resolution which is fair and just. So today as we reflect upon the flight of the Holy Family into Egypt, pray that Jesus, who is an immigrant from heaven, will always find a warm welcome in all of our hearts. But pray more for our lawmakers. That they will look to God for the wisdom and guidance they need, which will enable them to resolve this immigration dilemma in our country and to resolve it fairly and justly. May God be praised.